Thank you. 
I've never felt so stupid in my life until this game. Just, just throwing that out there. Oh, you know, it's been 10 minutes. I can... Whatever. Whatever. Just... Just... I was about to type laugh. Listen here, alright? Lather. That, yeah, that, yeah, that's that's what I meant. Listen, it's, it's like past, it's too late for me. I was trying to say, like, lather, you know, but... How did the health count for you and not me? I said it first. What the hell is this? Rigged. Rigged. I'm... Mm. Dum, dum, dum. I like how we have no T words. Oh, now we have a T word. Right as I said that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest with you. My brain's gone. I can't. I literally cannot form any more words in my brain. This is all y'all. I got a word. <laughs> I got a word. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is too addicting. Hold up. Just wait until you get to the part where, like, one of the words is fake. Alright. Hello. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good time zone to you. I'm a little late in saying this, but hello. I'm back again. Two times. Um. In a stream. That's definitely... That is a word. Oh. You you got it already. Never mind. It's not. I'm just throwing words out there at this point. <laughs> Hello. I'm back. Um, is that really not? I thought that was a word. Okay, beat is a word. Let me tell you, beat is a fucking word. It's literally something you eat. Bean! Um, what was I saying? Hello, I'm back. Uh, I played some Nino Kuni earlier today, and now I'm gonna play some Little Witch in the Woods, but first I'm doing words on stream. I was like in in bed and um with a headache and I was sleepy and I was like mm, I don't know. I'm trying to hype myself up for stream I don't know if I'm gonna stream. Um. Haha. -ha. And then Holly was like I want to play words and I was like well I could start off with words on stream and so here I am. Yeah, I wasn't going to get that word. That's for damn sure. Was not going to get that word. We were we almost finished it. Here I am. I took some ibuprofen so that hopefully my headache goes away. <clears throat> damn, it did it it just said we skipped two levels. We're on level 7. 
Are y'all prepared for this? Level seven. Sam, how was your work day? Work sucked. Aww. Uh, this one is, we now have a fake letter. My guess is going to be the Q. That's my guess. Or... That's a word. Ah, oh, damn it. You did it. Um... Uh, yep, see, the Q is the fake one. But why isn't, like... Why couldn't tween be one of them? <laughs> oh, it is! What the hell? I literally typed this in earlier, and it didn't count. Why did it count now? I'm confused. Desi Wezzy uh, Queen. <laughs> How are you? Good afternoon. How's your day? <gasps> Taylor, hello. How are you? Dun, 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 dun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I literally typed out beats earlier. I swear. Maybe that's the previous one. Hold up. No, that was the previous one. Okay. You're good. We're good. There's only one there's only one word left in it. Either starts with a T or a W. <laughs> Tube. <laughs> weeb. Aw <laughs> oh, damn, I could have done weeb. <laughs> Maybe they would have done that. We skipped three levels. Holy holy bananas. This is kind of addicting, I'm not gonna lie. Welcome to Words on Stream. You know what? Let me just... Add existing. Words on Stream. Boom. There we go. Big screen. How about I'll switch to the words on stream category just for a little bit. Um, there's a fake letter. So I'm guessing it's the G. Let's see. I think it's the G. <laughs> Wait, there's only one E. I'm dumb. No, why do I keep doing the G? It's fucking fake. Sorry, I don't mean to yell. Damn, that's a good one. Man, y'all are way, like, your brains are working in overdrive compared to mine. Holy shit. Um, I don't know anymore.
Y'all are fucking good at this. Look at that. What's the- wait, what is this? Oh, you can add rewards? Yo, wait, hold up. Hold the front door. I didn't know you can be rewarded. Hold up. I have to remember how to, uh... Add points. Because <laughs> I don't know how. How do you add points in this damn thing? Is it this? We're gonna test. It's that! Okay, cool. I figured it out. Can I, like... Oh, I have to wait. Alright. The T is fake. Um. Ah, oh, fuck. Good one, Sam. Good one. I was trying to figure out what the first word was. God, why do I keep doing the T? <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah! Is this a word? I don't think it is. It's not. Um... I don't know. Oh god. Oh no. I don't know if we passed this level. We did not. Damn it. Redemption, okay? Fucking redemption. Does it start us all over? Or just the same level? Okay, hold up. First, let me... So, here's the thing. How do I just... That's the wrong thing. Hold up. Can I... Do I have to specify somebody? Do I have to? I think I do. Or is it hold up? Oh, god damn it. I'm 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 very slow. I'm sorry. It's late at night. I'm trying to figure out how to get y'all rewarded. Be the first one to find an anagram. What level is this? Oh yeah, we do start over. I gotta dip, I'll be back later. Okay, Sam, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I'll do like a couple more of this because I wanna test the re the reward thing. I don't know. Am I dumb? Why can't I not think of words?
Yeah, this one's hard for me. It's only level one. What? Uh, I don't know. Not <laughs> Diva. <laughs> I'm at this point. I'm just guessing things. That one, okay, listen. <laughs> I wish it showed what the letters were because I'm really, really fucking stupid. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I think I figured it out. I'm gonna see if this points. This point. This works. We'll see if that works. Does that work? <gasps> it did work! Alright, one more because that one was stupid, okay? That one was stupid. This is too many A's. Too many, all right. Um. That's not one. I refuse to believe the harm is not a word in this. Damn, that's a good one. Dan, thank you for the follow, by the way. Stardew Valley should have taught me that. That word. Didn't think about it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm still not getting past the part that, like, I put in harm and it didn't work. What the hell? What? What in the hell is that? Excuse me? Excuse me? Why didn't it work for me? Why didn't it work for me? I think I was too late. <laughs> okay, one more. And then we're switching to Little Witch in the Woods. We're sending out... It worked. It worked! Look at that. I figured it out. We did it! We did it! Yeah, yeah, we did it. Um. Took my word, Holly. I don't appreciate that. You took my word. You're telling me that that's not... Haha! -ha. Um... So, wait, are we supposed to... Okay, I generally just, um, I think we're supposed to wait until the fucking game unlocks before we can do the word. And I've just now figured that out and we've been playing it for like a good 20 minutes now. <laughs> Ligma. Oh, 
lima bean is a word. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm not meant for this game. Here, I'll try Lima again. Nope, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to find an A word. But... Whatever. Alright. We're gonna lose. We lost. <laughs> we lost. It's okay. The fact that we got to uh, level 12. Shocked. Because I'm not very smart. Alright, I'll leave that there. Time for me to open up the game. I have not started this game. I saw that they were like, they had to do an emergency update earlier because there was like this game breaking thing. So hopefully it's good. I love this game, but my brain too small. Same. Same. You know? I gotta do this. I forgot. Have fun. Thanks. Thank you for helping us. I appreciate it. I'm so excited for this. I did not realize that it was going in early access so soon. And now. Y'all look at it. <laughs> it's so cute. Just this scene alone is cute. Press any button. Um, I don't know if I'll need to put the sound up any. We'll go with this for now. How's... Is that good? We'll see how it goes and then I can adjust accordingly, you know? Choo -choo. Check Look at her! I played this demo on stream a while back. Her name is Ellie. I wonder where the carrot was. You're still thinking about that. We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. We searched the whole school to save for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope. If that coward finds it, he'll take it to the teacher bawling, like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Excuse me, why would why why would this poor innocent girl be in jail? Why? <laughs> We're six feet under. Excuse me. Ugh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, the ticket for this train cost 500 pies. And it stopped? The witch's house in Highland, where all roads lead to. You're second place at the school for witches. Whatever. I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as a house. 
No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply did not want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you get into when we arrive. I won't. I won't fool around the moment I get there. She will. I didn't know you had self-awareness. Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is High Lion? The first thing to do is take off your shoes as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at High Lion. So, she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See? Mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No, Dad also did say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. You know you'd never be lonely if you have a talking hat. Keyword gain, lace-up boots. It's a pain to wear lace-up boots if you're bored in the train to Highline. The truth remains one. <gasps> She's so cute! The food was really delicious, though. Her face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. That omelet that was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon scented kiwi sauce. Even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch Series cards. I got scolded because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again in Highland. Why would you throw away the bread that is perfectly good food? Perfectly good food. Why would you do that? I'll definitely try the Nubicula cupcakes here. Mm, don't know why I tried to pronounce that word, but okay. That's if I get to Highland before I get bored to death. Oh, tab. Should shoes be taking, taken off when arriving at Highland? Ask others. Bartender. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey. Want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. He looks so fancy. Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? Why does your tea have alcohol? But then there's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Keyword conversations. Listen. Change category. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna turn on my fan real quick. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. In the old Tejas. Ye old Tejas. Alright. Ah, okay, okay, okay. What sort of work do you do here? Mixing my life and changing the alcohol. Wait, I think it's the other way around. I'm just an average bartender working in the most expensive place in the world. What brings you to this very expensive train? I thought you were listening to our conversation. I stopped listening when it got boring. I'm going to be an apprentice at the witch's house in High Lion. After working as an apprentice for three years, I will be able to graduate from the School for Witches. Wow, High Lion, huh? That's the right proper place, isn't it? So they say. It's probably why you got the train ticket for free. You must be someone special. I don't really care about that kind of thing, though. That kind of thing is what's important at the end of the day. It's best to just suck it up. You'll be glad you did later down the road, you know. Yeah, later. What's up? 
Um, chit chat. Um, oh, it's special. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into Highline Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who are all dressed up for Highline. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. O oh, ye who reacheth Highline, look first upon thy shoes. Or so that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil? I was right. Okay, so the hat's name is Virgil. The preppy boots mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. You don't like this High Lion name? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's what people who can't read call you? How? How? The f Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating magna cum laude. Sure is amazing you're graduating magna cum laude despite your antics. You didn't keep up with the attitude of yours. <laughs> Hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being boredom won't be an issue. Nope. It's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. But it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly! How can you not try shaking it four times having heard that? But you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. An inquisitive mind. You've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise! I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. Alright, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin when you're in the city, got it? You're not gonna ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives can never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. You can view your notes to see the keywords you have. Oh my god, is that a fucking otter? Oh my god. Oh, look at you! Oh my god! Look at its face. Up ahead is the engine room. We don't check the passenger's outfit. Even if you don't check, it's inconvenient to get off if you wear strappy boots. There are so many different types of clothing that cause discomfort, I can't define them all. Then, what about having a hard time taking off your shoes when you get off? Delays occur once in a while due to their shoes, but again, it is not regulated. I guess there's no fine. Isn't it a matter of harming social reputation rather than the fine? Is that so? Small talk is forbidden during operation. Aww. I'm an attendant of Brightman Railroads. My job is to ensure the passenger's comfort and safety. Why is somebody honking at midnight? I don't know if you heard that, but up ahead is the engine room. Alright. In dialogue. Who are you, ordinary passenger? Hello. Oh, hello. You look mysterious. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, uh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to Highland, right? Correct. Um, what's the matter? Uh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my, old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. Well, I used to be a soldier. So what brings you here? Speak. <laughs> okay, goddamn, you ain't gotta tell me twice. Before that. What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Uh, I was just I was gonna ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? 
take some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at Highline. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? 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 Huh? <laughs> oh, you were kidding? I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! They played her. The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no. I just realized that I was deceived. Come to think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit Highline for the first time. Stop. You don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. Sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't come from me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? <laughs> Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. Can't believe Ginny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now, go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. We still have three more days to go. <laughs> three more days? That's as terrible as the smell of spotted sh shiitake mushrooms. Three days on this damn train? I guess, is this how you exit? Three days? Alright, now. Have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. I'm bored. But you just sat down. This is torture. Stare out the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. Wait, hold on. Virgil, shut up and look out the window. At the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree! Why is this shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Ugh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash. Why would you hope that, ma'am? That's... You don't hope that sort of thing. Bad chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any croaker pants nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. I like how <laughs> Google captions thought I said Kroger. <laughs> Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? <gasps> hey, a boa constrictor! The correct line is, what's going on? There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. <laughs> I have the hiccups. I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please just stay. There's some massively critical issue. Please, please, please. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yes! Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning at the departure time. Can we go outside? Will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! Not sure if you remember, but of course I remember the shining tree is at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. Aw, yeah. Wow, it's so dark. It's nighttime. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. I love it. Let's hurry. Okay, tab is a menu. To open and close. Okay. Search for the shining tree. Oh, it's a hill. Won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vine hangings on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. 
That's bad news. It's a secret passageway, Virgil! I don't think it's a secret passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. You know, I would not go frolicking in the dark. What's this? Looks like little honey pumpkin. What's that? It's a type of weed that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of them by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. Do I get to keep it? Ah. Great. It's time to explore. Please don't use that word. Explore. That word gives me anxiety. No thanks to your mother. Oh, hell yeah. We're sprinting. Cranapple. Look at this little statue. We got ourselves a branch. Ah. I genuinely don't remember what all co I could do in the demo, so. <gasps> a well? There's shining trees at the peak of the mountain. So go quickly if you want to see it. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. Is a little bunny on the top of it? Ooh, at the top. So up there. There's a town, Virgil. You have to go to Highline. What a shame. What a shame. too dark and worn down for me to see anything. I don't see any words, only pictures. Let's come back when it's brighter. Don't have the right chalk. Might as well gather some things while I'm here. Shining trees at the peak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A mountain. That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. Look at these statues. I can't catch you. What is this? Why are there so many things blocking the path? This must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or do you know how it works? School hammered it into my head. Shouldn't be an issue long as it's drawn well. a gigantic shining tree. The same one we saw from the train. This is a bitter grape tea tree. I don't think th the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right. The butterflies seem to be glowing. 
These are blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing with moonlight? It's not just beautiful, it's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those are two rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower in the Lucerne or two? It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Um, anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. In search for a curious creature. You have your leftover mac and cheese? I was really considering making some mac and cheese. I, I was considering it, like, while I started stream. Retrace your path. I don't think I'll get a week of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? Dirt and rocks should, should make for a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. Look, the blue moon butterfly. We saw the peak is here, too. You might as well collect some for study purposes. You think I just sneak up and grab it? Wait, do you remember what Mr. Gravier said? Death lives under the bed? No, not that. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. Which is encyclopedia and quill. Press and hold to use the quill button to draw. Once the gauge is full and the drawing is complete, the subject of the drawing will be recorded in the encyclopedia. Ah, ah. Approach it and use the quill to draw it in the encyclopedia. And then Z. Did I do it? Blue moon butterfly. A butterfly that emits a soft blue glow from absorbing moonlight. It is sensitive to sound, but will not easily go away unless it feels especially threatened. So that's the habitat and time of appearance. Tools used. Collectibles that can be acquired. Okay. Okay. Great. It's registered in the catalog. Let's see. Oh my god, she's so cute with her glasses on. How do you see why you can't catch any right now? Tool. Hmm. So you can collect them by using a butterfly net. I don't have one right now. Not much you can do now then. But I want to do it right now. Get into the witch's house and highlight is more important. Hmm. Let's go back down now. There's gotta be something else that's fun. <gasps> Was that rocks? A piece of rock. Another one of those things. Green forest. I uh, can't go through there. Wait, was there anything up here? Or No, this was just a tree, right? I can't get over there. Because this... That's not... Can't go that way. Can't draw with a quill. Maple herb. A red herb that roots itself in cliffs, also called coward's grass, because children pick their herb as a show of bravery. Unlike plants that grow in soil, its roots are spread out wide, so try to pull it while shaking it at an angle instead of pulling it up straight. Dangle mango! Can I not? 
Is that not something I need to, um... Also? No, guess not. Investigate. Don't have the right chalk. Okay. Okay, this just goes down here. Witch flower. Witches often use this flower when making things, hence the name witch flower. Grab its stem and give it a slight tug to pull them up from the ground. Why does this have like a... If I can't do anything. Why does it sound like something's fucking... Cause there's something in there. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That's so creepy. Bush bug makes home within bushes. They have uncharacteristically unchar large wings for such a tiny body. Should you see a moving bush, try giving it a good shake. They're not difficult to gather once spotted. I can't get that. I don't have to draw the mangoes. Like, might as well get these while I can, you know? No harm in that. I mean, obviously, there's going to be plenty more, but no harm in that. <gasps> Is that a cat? Oh, wow. Ellie, let's go back to the train. Look at that, Virgil. A shining white cat. I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to... Let's go after that creature. Cat! This poor hat. Poor Virgil. He's like, I am so tired of this girl. She's testing my patience. But cat! Look at it! Can I draw these? Silver star bell. This silver bell-shaped flower also produces a mellow sound like that of a bell. The echoes of the flower evokes a melancholy feeling with from within. Buds bloom only at night when there is light. The pollen that bursts from the bud as it flowers can be collected. Okay. Cat! I think the cat dropped something and left. What's this? Witch's white chalk. Looks like a witch chalk. That thing you used to draw like a pattern? It's a little different from the one we were using at school. It's just a different packaging. So can I... This switch pattern seems to have been erased a bit. It won't work if it gets erased like this. You can draw the pattern again using the same colored witch chalk. Since I had the one I just picked up earlier, let's draw again with that. Should I draw the witch pattern again using one witch's white chalk? Yes. Alright, I drew the witch pattern again. Can I only use it once? Huh? Where'd the cat go? Look, Virgil! There's a house! That's a witch's house, isn't it? Looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there are people inside. If there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for a princess witch to be at the witch's house? That's true, but... Can I... Is there anything I can draw around here? No?
Man, I would not be going into some into the woods into some house that looks creepy. I'm sorry. Anyone there? Is anyone there? Seems like nobody's here. Could be an abandoned witch's house. Because the witch administration can't figure out everything. All right, let's go inside. Oh, really is an abandoned witch's house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although, it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed on her own, it doesn't seem to be in a very good condition considering how dirty it is. But the bed looks fine. I guess I could just sleep here. Um, well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep one night or so. And it's better than sleeping outside. Actions such as collecting or sprinting uses stamina. You can recover stamina spent by eating or sleeping. The house is a bit messy. We'll just sleep for one day. Who cares? Time to go to bed. Aww. Um, what's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train, only to dream of just that? You should have just slept on the train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Wait, isn't that actually the sound of the train? What? Really? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry! It really is the sound of the train. I think it's about to take off. Let's hurry back. I woke up just in time. Well, had I didn't sleep in. Oh my god, bunnies! <laughs> I need to go on the train and I'm just like... <gasps> squishy chub! <laughs> it's called a squishy chub! A barrels and lives underground in groups of two to four. As curious creatures, they approach people first should someone come near them. Pinching and squeezing their comfy cheeks will leave tufts of soft fur in your hands. <gasps> Thanks! I must take my leave. Look at the way she's running. Oh, this is just too adorable. Genuinely. Huh? Where's the train? <laughs> Looks like that bird was imitating train sounds. But where's the train? Probably went to High Lion. Th then what do we do now? Let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Why are you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mom. Can this bird shut? Shut it! What is that thing? It's called the Gaga bird. They say it's a bit insane. Quiet. I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the Gaga bird. Fine. Whatever. Just be quiet. A letter! We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from! Yeah! How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see. I think it's from the bartender on the train. You're probably shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You could just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send a knight and arden my regards. A neat or a knight or, I don't know, bartender. That place we saw earlier must be a village! Are you even a little upset that we missed the train, Ellie? It's okay, since there's a village, right? I guess we could just wait there. How about cleaning the witch's house? You never know what may happen. Also, try checking if a village really exists. Okay! Please try not to sound so excited. We missed the train, remember? Right! You heard me, right? Well then, I might as well add more to the encyclopedia now. Every time I see the word encyclopedia, I think of how much your mother... When Ted's like, encyclopedia. <laughs> and then there's the episode um, where... Uh, 
um, the fucking, what's the word? Fuck. Intervention. When Robin writes a note, <laughs> she's like, and that's douchey, not douche. Use the quill to lock three more to the catalog. Clean the witch's house where a prolonged stay seems inevitable. Mention that there is a village nearby. Look for the sign to find the town's location. Alright. Tell the, the village is to the right. The town lies to the east of here. I guess people do live around here. Alright, let's head east. But it seems to be blocked by something over there. That's true. It's a little honey pumpkin. Let's go take a look first. I think this is the way to the village, but the little honey pumpkin is in the way. Let's go to the witch's house and find a way. And also clean up. Oh, I want to find things and draw them. Thank you very much. <laughs> the bunnies are so cute. So cute. Oh. Let's get rid of the weed first. There's too much. It would take forever to pull all this at using hands. Take a look at the bin over there. It might have a potion to get rid of weed. The bin? There's nothing here. Then we'll have to use another tool. Is there another tool? Yes, there's a wonderful tool. What's that? Your hands. Uh... Can I? No, I can't draw this. I want to do this one. Thank you. How nice of them to clean up the place. Like, I genuinely don't know if I would go somewhere abandoned and then clean it up. You know? I think I would just find somewhere else. There's a few more over here. All right, I think I got rid of all of them, right? It's nice to see that it's clean. Now it's time to tidy up the house. <laughs> right. Look, Ellie, it's a quest mark. All I see is dust and cobwebs that we have to clean up. Exactly. Let's find something useful while cleaning. I wonder where the witch is, the one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating and living well somewhere in... I wonder if that's Lucerin? Or two. She really messed up the house. Reminds me of your room. My room was cleaner than this. That might be so from a dust standpoint. It's a witch bookshelf! Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. That's the same as a witch bookshelf. I'm not going to read a book, though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. What does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Stop nagging. I read enough books at school. Hmm, witch history. The 12 plants. Fun book of plants. Gardening for witches. There's so many books on plants. I guess the witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. Oh, 
Oh, it's a notebook. Might be useful later. All done cleaning. It's also messy in front in front of the desk over there, Ellie. Stop bossing me like a teacher. I finally managed to get out of school. There's some dust over there, Ellie. Don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. You should have listened. <gasps> oh, this is a witch elevator. That's why you have to listen to the teachers. Let's hurry up and go down. What if there's a scary monster? You think so? Oh, I'm so excited. Go to workplace. It's so cute. Wow, look at all this, Virgil. This must be the dispensary. You could probably make potions with the proper tools. We should definitely do some cleaning. Ah, uh, cleaning again. Yeah, I don't know if I would be cleaning this much. I know what this is. It's an extractor. We used it so many times at school. This is a slightly smaller one, though. It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Um, that's true. It's broken. I'll need a friendly toad, at least. I'll need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You need to at least fix the extractor in order to make potions. Alright, let's go to the village first. Let's look for one. What is this? What is this? Your inventory is full. Wow, this is a pretty good cauldron. I think it was made by the Blue Lighting Workshop. Its style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use one? Of course. Expertly processed ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last, you'll end up with a proper potion. Crafting potions. In order to craft potions, you'll need to follow the required ingredients, fire settings, and ladle direction. Carefully review the recipes in the encyclopedia. I actually like teacher Olivia. Still, the cauldron looks fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using them for right now. A spilled bottle, scribbled paper, and a book. What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's oil? Looks like a recipe for potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads, a potion with the power of moon. The ingredients are moonflower and phoenix feather. Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. I can't see what that says. Okay, there's also something underneath. Where? Oh, you're right. Um, I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. You mean I learned how to read these strange symbols? Your score wasn't bad either. I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look anyway? Um, looks like a recipe. Seems like moons something. <laughs> I have no idea. I got a headache. Take a look if you remember later. An unreadable memo. I think I learned a language a while ago, but I can't remember. Yeah, I should have put it away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use a workbench later. It's no use for it now. You can view creature information and potion recipes written with the quill in the encyclopedia. Whoa. Sunlight potion. Weed terminator potion. Interesting. Put two squishy chub fur in an extractor and squeeze the juice. Put two witch flower in an extractor, squeeze the juice. Okay. We can't do that though. A roaster? Ugh, I hate this thing. You have to put in the ingredients and just wait. It's awful. Can't you just simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in bad condition, however. Really? Ah, oh, yes. There's no handle for winding the spring. Where would I get a roaster handle? 
I don't need the roaster hand. I don't need the roaster since it's not needed for the basic recipes. And there should be something when you get to the village. Yeah, the village comes first. By the way, there's nothing normal here. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. Still, the cauldron's fine. <gasps> Is that a chest that I could put my stuff in? This box looks pretty useful. I could put stuff in here when my pockets are full. Fuck yeah. Finish cleaning? Seems like something dropped on the floor. Do I need to sweep the floor too? Yes, by all means. I would like to put these in there. Which flower extract? Maple. This is a potion ingredient, isn't it? You've used them in school countless of times. Are witches usually this sloppy? Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. Then I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy. Or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. Yes, I'm all done cleaning. We can make potions now. It would be hard to make properly because the machine tools are broken. Since there were ingredients on the ground, let's try making with them for now. There was a little honey pumpkin in front of the village. The stubborn weed elimination potion should do it, right? It's a weed terminator potion. Whatever. Check the recipe in the encyclopedia. You'll probably be able to make it with the ingredients you were lucky enough to find. All right, let's do it. Removing pesky pumpkins. Open encyclopedia. So set fire to stage four, stir the ladle. Don't stir. Okay, you don't stir. Pour in the right vessel. Ingredients refer to processed collectibles obtained from animals and plants. Use the view ingredient information button to view its unprocessed collectibles form and its collection targets. You can view collectibles on the left and view collection targets on the right. Crafting order is shown on the right. After processing the collectible, put the ingredients in the witch's pot and adjust the fire and ladle as needed to craft. So you put that. Select ingredient. And that's it. Did I fuck it up? Set it to stage four. Isn't that stage four? Wait, 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 wait. Do I have to, oh, I think I'm putting them in the wrong order. Put, oh, put two. I just need one and one. So, fur, which flower? Set the stage, the fire to stage four. Don't stir. Pour in the right vessel. No. One of these is not, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's this, is it not? Oh my god, that's so cute! Weed Terminator Potion. To make the best use of this potion, it's best to know what, what unwanted plant you are targeting. It's most effective on garden weeds. Awesome! The Stubborn Weed Extermination Potion is complete! It's a potion for removing weeds. Anyway, it's ready! Let's go throw it at the little honey pumpkin. You must use it carefully since there are no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. You must throw it at the little honey pumpkin and make sure to remove the nucleus as well. Because we terminator potion is just a temporary measure. I got it! Okay, so E and R changes potions. A equips the potion. Thank goodness that I 
You can now save and load from the cabinet on the first floor of the witch's house. Oh, dope. What should I do? Save. Naps. You can now take naps. You cannot take naps at night. You can only take a nap once per day. How dare they limit my nap, right? Just once per day and not during night. What if I'm up all night, you know? And I just need to take a nap. Aim. Here it goes. Good, I think it's working properly. Let's pass by quickly and find the nucleus. Nucleus is right here. All done. Oh my god, look at it. Huh? This isn't a village. Look over there, Ellie. It's a prickly vine this time. It's so huge and thick. That's what she said. Oh no. What do I do with the extractor? First, take a look around here. Hi! <gasps> Hello, do you live in the town? Nature is so beautiful. You're beautiful. What? Aren't the trees beautiful? Their green leaves are so pretty. Uh, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Okay, I'll be back. Walk under the blue sky and experience nature. <laughs> she must really love nature. So much that she can't have a conversation. You should respect her interests. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? A curse that doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? The curse of a nature lover? That doesn't make sense. There are lots of quirky witches out there. The curse lifting candy that can lift the curse should be a basic recipe. <sighs> but we can't use the machine to one now. I must process what's been collected to make a potion. What should I do? You picked up several ingredients at the workplace earlier, didn't you? Those will be enough to make cursed lifting candy. And did you see what's next to her over there? Next to her? What? It's a glass bottle that would be perfect as a glass extractor bottle. Where? <gasps> Whoa, you weren't kidding. Alright, now let's make cursed lifting candy to lift the curse. And to receive that glass bottle's reward. That would be nice. First, let's check on the candy that can lift the curse in the book. Curse lifting candy. Candy that can relieve a light curse, such as a curse that makes you forget to brush your teeth or a curse that makes you fall often. The sweet mint flavor of this candy is delicious. Ah. So we need squishy chub fur extract and maple herb herb extract. Set to set fire to stage three. Don't stir. Pour in the right vessel. Okay, I can do that. Mysteria. The village is just ahead. I can do that. Take a look at that huge prickly vine. Oh, can I not make it right now? Or do I just need to look at the vine first? Wow, they really are big. Too big for the weed termination potion, I think. Hmm. We'll have to do something else. We'll have to stay at the witch's house for a while. A way to get rid of the giant prickly vines. Let's go! Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, so let me let me look at the thing again. Stage three, don't stir. Okay. And then that's what I use this and this for. Stage three, don't stir. Hooray! See what happens when I pay attention? 
What a concept, right? I wonder what time would be a good time to take- What the hell?! Are y'all mean? Pumpkin Terrier. It lives off pumpkin type plants. Oftentimes it is covered in pumpkin vines. It loves to play, so it'll try to play hide and seek if you attempt to collect from them. Try to remove all the vines wrapped around it if you're curious about what it looks like. I wanted to see what you look like. What the hell? Shall I give her the curse left in candy? Would you like to try this? May the blessings of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello. Am I speaking properly now? Yes, I think so. Wow, thank you so much. To hell with nature. I guess there really was a curse. I could tell that the old man I met in the western jungle was suspicious just by looking at him. Yet I simply couldn't ignore such a well-made wooden image of a monkey. After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried to speak backwards, right, but I could only praise nature. Pure torture. I hope nature just rots and dies. <laughs> Still, I'm glad. I'm glad the curse was easily removed. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Aura. Aurea? Aura? Aurea? Aurea? I don't know. How long has it been since I said my name? My name is Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. Oh? Did she come to this town to be an apprentice? I was on a train, but it got off for a moment and left without me. Oh dear. It was about to enter the town, but it's blocked off by some prickly vines. Damn nature. Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, so I've been staying there. An empty... Oh yes, there's a witch's house here. That's good. I have business in the village too, but the vine stopped me. Nature be damned. I'll be here for a while, so let me know if you need anything. Oh, then can I ask you a favor? Not a favor, but a fair price. What do you need? The tools were broken when I was trying to use the dispenser at the witch's house. Do you have any tools or parts? What kind of tools or parts do you need? I need a glass bottle for the extractor and a roaster handle for winding the roaster. Wait a minute, I'll look for them. Sure. Ellie, do you have any money? I do. Mom gave me pocket money when I came out. You think you'll be able to buy witch tools with just enough pocket money to buy a snack or two? Uh, is that so? What if I don't have enough money? Since you have tools, make and sell potions or something. You can also sell candies now. Only if there are people to buy them. I found it. Take this. Glass extractor bottle. A circular glass bottle. It seems to be a perfect fit for the extractor in the witch's house. How uh, much is this? Oh, never mind. This is return for breaking my curse. Wow, thank God. Unfortunately, I don't have any roaster handle for the roaster. I see. Will you be staying at the village? If so, I'll bring it next time. I'll sell it at a proper price then, however. <laughs> Good. Please bring it then. Okay, I'll write roaster handle in the memo. Oh, and take this too. Healing candy. A recipe for a candy that quickly heals light wounds. Since the price for the bottle earlier wasn't enough, I'll give this to you as well. Thank you. Sure, come back next time. Now we'll be able to fix the extractor. But are you really going to stay in this village? I should until the train comes. Really? I have no choice. No, I mean, are you really going to leave when the train comes? That... <laughs> I'll decide when that happens. Let's just fix the extractor first. Oh, look at her face. It's just so adorable. Where's the tear? The yeah. You can't run for me. You can't hide from me. <gasps> huh? That's no weed. What was that? It left something behind. A ri a rittering. That's a cute name. Why was it buried there? Someone could have buried it. 
Or it could have been sleeping. You're going to have to be more specific than that. There's not much that's known about reader rings. Well, other than good fortune if you find one. Yeah, I guess it did leave behind a gift of sorts. Try to spot them while you're wandering around. Okay, I'll look for more. I didn't even really see what it looked like. If I'm gonna be honest with you. So now I'm curious. I want to I want to take a picture of it. Or not take a picture, but you know what I mean. I'm like looking around with the quill just in case something pops up for me to draw. But no, it doesn't look like there's anything for me to draw. Oh well. I should take a nap, I think. Take a nap two hours? Sure. Restore some stamina, you know? Should I use the glass bottle I have for the extractor? Yes. Good, now I can use the extractor. We can finally make potions properly. Then what do I do now? Didn't you want to go to the village? You should remove the giant prickly vine. <laughs> That's true, but it seems impossible to get rid of that huge thing with the recipe I have now. The basic recipe does seem kind of in inadequate. What's your plan? Now that the extractor has been fixed, you'll be able to make potions from the basic recipes. If you make weed termination po terminator potion, you can get rid of little honey pumpkin. I'll be able to go to the places that have been blocked. A little more. Yeah, so the forest. Let's look through the forest. There must be something. That's what I'm saying. So should I take out some ingredients? Take this out. Take you guys out. Uh, your inventory's full. Oh. Well, can I have more inventory space, please? Oh, you know what? How do I get to my inventory? Ah. Now I have space. Alright, so... Hmm. Trying to make more of this. For extract, witch flower extract, stage 4, don't stir. You, you, stage 4, don't stir. I'll have to get more fur. You know what? Let's just make some of these. Might as well. If I need to get the individual ingredients again, I can do that. And then for now, I'll move those in there. What is this? Gifts? Oh. Wait, what was the inventory? S is inventory. Gifts. What is this? 
black acorn with white stripes. The thin red leaf in the shape of a river rests on top. is used as a rare ingredient. Okay. Well, let me put this up for now. Because I don't know what I'm doing with it. And we'll sleep. That's such a cute little screen. Uh -uh. You just woke up. Why do you look dead already? I think I had an important dream, but I can't remember it. it seemed like something important. Like the principal's sermon. That's something I don't want to think about again. Save! <gasps> Call! Call! A crow? Witch! Call! It spoke? It's a witch's crow? Oh, it's a witch's crow. The witch returns! The witch returns! This is my first time coming here, though. The witch returns! Not exactly a listener, is he? Goods and services! Call! Goods and services! Witch's catalog! The witch's catalog? I've always wanted to try it out. You need to head towards Highland, young lady. But I can't just starve until I reach the village. After I find the village, I'm going to make sure I try it out before I go to Highline. Limited time only. Register now for a gift. Call. Try the witch's catalog. There are any other gifts as well. Plus, it's limited time only. <laughs> Multi-purpose glue. Kitchen accessories. A spork. In any case, I need the witch's catalog. Guess it wouldn't hurt to have in a pinch. You could buy ingredients or potions from them. All right. Let's register for now. Thank you. Oh, thank you, visit employee. When? Work finished, work finished. Closed for the day. Closed for the day. Okay, but <laughs> so suddenly? It's not easy getting the message across to the witch's crows. Hmm, but I guess I should keep searching for the village. You never know when the witch's catalog will show up. Let's stick to the plan and find the vi village. Hmm, where else? Oh, I think I know. But also, I haven't been over here. And I think I can go here. I cannot, that's right. Birds, can I like... Yeah. Sprout bird. Common bird found in the green forest. The sprout on its head will shrivel up or bloom with flowers. They drop their flowers behind should you scare them away. If well fed, they will bloom lots of flowers. Okay. You didn't drop any flowers. I'm curious though. Oh, that's because you don't have any flowers. No, it wasn't this way. It was up. I still am curious about this rock. Virgil, look at that. It's grown so much. It wasn't that big a while ago. That must be an adult honey pumpkin. Better get rid of it before it grows anymore. <laughs> I'm not even a gardener. Why? We must get rid of it to get to a new place since we haven't been behind there. Ah, well, guess it can't be helped to get the new place. I guess I should make a weed terminator potion. I have it. Simple because I made it once before. Don't forget to remove the nucleus if you want to avoid repeating the same thing. Equip the potion. Aim. Throw. Let me in. Let me in. Done. Oh, hello, Cinder. How come this one, that one didn't? Ew. Oh, that's, oh my god. For a moment I thought that was a spider. Jesus Christ. It's not. Where am I going? Okay. Where 
Rubrum? Wow, Virgil, there's someone stuck in the spider web. I think he's lost consciousness. Is he even alive? I don't know. Um. Ah! They woke up. Who? I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. A witch? Wow, this is my first time seeing an apprentice witch. It's my first time seeing someone caught in a spider web. <laughs> my name is Rubrum. I live in the village with my grandma. But now I'm stuck in a big spider web. Doesn't seem to understand the gravity of the situation. A big spider web means there's a big spider nearby. <gasps> you be quiet. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll help you down. You have to be careful when dealing with spider webs, Ellie. Looks pretty strong. One wrong move and you'll get stuck in it yourself. Then what do I do? Maple herb works best against insects. Just one maple herb should be enough. I learned that maple herb grows on cliffs. I'll bring it soon. Yeah, come back soon. Okay. I have some in the uh, thingamabab. But perhaps there will be some around here. I'll be back. Look, right there. Got it. I wonder if this game has controller support. I think that would be really good. This should work like this. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, probably. Can you walk? Okay, then let's go to the witch's house together. Oh, they're following me. I have a little fox following me. This is so cute. Genuinely just am love with in love with this game. I should go check on Ruben first. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you hurt? I can't walk because my legs hurt. You're probably up there for too long. Then I'll give you a hug. I'll give you treatment at the witch's house. Okay. That's so sweet. Still would like to know how I picked up one of those things. Isn't it heavy? Of course! Really? Just stop talking. I am going the right way, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Our village is just a little further from here. We cannot pass through now because of the prickly vines. Let's go to the witch's house for now and find a way. Yeah. Poor little thing. Just stuck in a spider, a spider trap waiting to be just eaten alive. We're here. Wow, a witch's house. Thanks. How's your leg? It still hurts a bit. I have to hurry up and get back to the village. If not, Grandma will scold me. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get rid of that huge prickly vine. Oh, really? I'll make sure to get you back to your village. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Oh, before that, I should treat your leg first. Rip room, wait here for a moment. Right. I need to go make a potion. A healing potion. Okay, we needed... Healing candy. Witch flower and maple. Witch flower and maple. Witch flower, maple. Um, stage four, stir ladle right. Okay. That, that. Stage four, stir ladle right. Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had to like double check. I did it! K 
candy that quickly heals light wounds. Would you like to try this? Whoa, it's this? Is this candy? Yeah, it's a candy to heal your leg. Wow, thanks. It looks delicious. Oh, it's delicious. Ugh, this tastes awful. It's good for your health. How's your leg? Well, I think I feel better. Thanks, Ellie. Candy tastes awful. So, how did you get caught in the spider web? I just came to the forest to play for a little bit. But time flew by, and then the giant prickly vines were covering the way. I was looking for another path when I heard the sound of a train. How? Oh, it must be the one I was riding. I went towards the train, and a strange bird suddenly started chasing after me. <laughs> must have been that bird, not the train. It was that bird. I went into a deep place as I was running away. Then I found a treasure map and got caught in a spider web as I was trying to pick it up. <gasps> treasure map? I saw a picture of a skeleton through the bushes. I saw in a children's book that it's a sign of pirates leaving their treasures. Shall we go check? What about the giant prickly vine? Oh well, can't do much about it yet. It wouldn't hurt to try. Let's go. Ellie, can I follow you too? Wouldn't it be better to rest a little more? I'm bored since I'm home all the time. What do you say? Okay, fine. But be careful. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Cinder's fallen asleep next to me. <laughs> I put like this little cardboard thing over here. And for a while they weren't using it. But I guess all of a sudden Cinder's like, oh, I guess I can nap here. She's all curled up and cute. Save. Alright, where are we meant to be going? And um, where's the fox? Oh, there you are. My name is Rupert. It's the name given to me by my grandma. The name suits you well. Thanks. What kind of tea do you like? Um, we'll say sweet tea. I like sweet tea. I also like sweet tea. I like bush apple tea and witch flower tea as well. But you shouldn't drink too much sweet tea. They say it'll rot your teeth. Okay, I'll be careful. Oh, you know what? I wanted to see... What was it? Uh, I haven't drawn it, so I don't know what it looks like. Wait, so we have to go back? To right there? Investigate. You don't have the right chalk. What is this? This is a boom potion. I even went to a hidden library because I wanted to make it. I'm so lucky to find this here. They don't normally use a skeleton design as a symbol of luck, right? The important thing now is that I have something to blow things up with. And also something to blow up. You're super excited. Then shall we go try it right away? Are we going to blow up the vines? I miss this feeling. Do you plan to destroy everything on top of getting into trouble? Hey, what are you taking me for? Boom potion. Don't you feel the almighty power just from the name? When in trouble, throw it. Break it if you can't have it. Sometimes it takes boldness to overcome a crisis. Don't you think it's strange that a boom potion was dropped in that secluded forest? Someone might have hidden it thinking it's treasure like Rubem. Or someone might have spilled it. The boom potion? Ugh, I don't know. The important thing now is that the boom potion is in my hands. Go, boom potion! Wow, it wouldn't even budge. Must be stronger than the secret door in the principal's office. What are those fragments coming out of it? Huh? Where? Around your feet? Look at this, Virgil! It's a prickly vine fragment. 
seems to have worked a little bit. The vines appear to have grown back pretty fast. Uh, we might have to we might be able to figure out exactly what these prickly vines are. These prickly vines aren't even in the codex. How are you going to figure that out? Hmm, well oh well, wouldn't a person living around here know something? Let's show the fragment to someone and ask them about it. Splinter of the giant prickly vine blocking the entrance to the village. There's only like two people here. Is this a prickly vine fragment? Fascinating. Do you happen to know something about it? No, I don't. Okay. Maybe you? Perhaps. Welcome. Oh, is this a fragment of that prickly vine? Yes, that's right. Do you know something about it? No, I don't know anything about prickly vines either. But I have something, might th um, something that might be helpful. Something that might be helpful? Ta-da! A universal product appraisal machine. Wow, what's that? It's a tool made by some witch. With the power of the moon of the moonstone embedded here, you can find out the identity of any object. Really? Then hurry up and try it. I don't usually do this for free, but since you lifted my curse, I'll do it for free this time. Wow, that's great. All right, here it goes. Oh, did it just dissolve? Huh? What? The prickly vine fragment has disappeared. That's strange. Why did it disappear? Maybe because of a grudge against nature? No, that's not possible. This tool just shoots moonlight and analyzes the reflected light. There are no plants that just get killed by moonlight, right? A plant that gets killed by moonlight? Ugh, seems like something's coming up in my mind. Think, Ellie. This is something you learned in school. Oh, I remember now. Avoiding the moon. There are plants that get killed by moonlight. That's right. This prickly vine definitely avoids the moon. That's why it died in the moonlight. I think I've also heard plants like that. I'm glad the tool's working fine. Thank you. I think I can get rid of the prickly vines now. No, I'm the one that should be thankful. Work hard. So basically, we have to come back. With the moon. Let me just go on ahead and replenish... Anything around here for me to take a picture of? No? No? Alright. Give me some of that fur. Thanks! Anything else? Oh, is this? Oh. Are another one of those things not going to show up for a while? Oh, hello. Appreciate it. Oh, um, I didn't mean to press that. I actually wanted to go back up. Search the drawers in the witch's house to find information. All right, let's get this started. The moonflower. People have died from reading too many books, haven't they? So much for all the confidence. I actually have a disease that kills me if I read too many books, you know. Stop complaining and keep searching. You've only gone through three books so far. 
Only? Come on, look at the size of these books. It's too much work. Can't you read instead? You sure you want to do that? Of course. We're friends, right? Looks like the next few lines are about the moonflower. What? Really? Let's see here. Bitter grape tea tree? Bitter grape tea tree. That's the tree we saw at the summit. The glowing one. The glow came from the blue, mu blue moon butterflies. Hmm. The tea leaves. Blah, blah, blah. Tastes like grape. Strong bitter taste. Oh, here it is. Blah, blah, blah. It is also famous for its flowers. The moonflower. Moonflower? So it was here. There's still more information. It gathers moonlight most of the time, and on a moonless night, the moonflower blooms. A moonless night? But the tree at the summit had blue moon butterflies flying around. So the moonflower couldn't bloom because of the moonlight emitted by the blue moon butterflies? So if we get rid of the blue moon butterflies, then the moonflower will bloom? Yeah, it's a commonly used method back in Lucerne. Gather moonlight with the blue moon butterflies, shoot them away, collect the moonflower. Alright, let's get rid of the mo blue moon butterflies, make Lunar's oil, and remove those prickly vines. But what do we use to get rid of the blue moon butterflies? They don't like sunlight, so a sunlight potion should be work. Alright, let's make a sunlight potion and get rid of those butterflies. We're saving. All right, I think I'm going to make that my stopping point for tonight because I still have a big ass headache and it hasn't gone away. So, as much as I want to keep playing, I don't want to like force force it or anything. Have my headache get even worse. Um, I will be back later today. I'm gonna play some Nino Kuni, which I'm excited for. So I probably won't get to play this again until... What's today? It's Wednesday now. Maybe Thursday. Maybe Thursday I'll play it. Um, I'm not sure if Wednesday stream will be a day or a night stream, but I'll let you guys know. But thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate it. I hope that you all have a fantastic night, morning, day, afternoon, evening, whatever it may be. Good time zone to you. And I will talk to you next time. Good night.